We're coming up on the 50th anniversary of Title IX. Mm -hmm. Who are some of your role models and maybe some women that you looked up to as you were getting into the sport? Either on the track or even off the track. I'll give you one non-track person and a track person. So I would say my off the track role model will be my mom. Obviously my mom. My mother, Jetta Clark. I would definitely say my mom was my biggest role model. She's been my biggest role model off the track. I feel like she's a pioneer herself. Her work ethic always up five, going to the market, whatever it is that she could do to make life, that was what she did. She's shown me what it means to be resilient and she's shown me what it is to be super disciplined and to never give up. Oh, my mother had her own business in Newark. I mean, she owns a daycare and a primary school, so she's big on, you know, education, especially for little black kids. When I was younger, I looked at my sister. She played basketball in college. She was a professional basketball player overseas. When she wanted to play basketball in college, she they gave her a scholarship. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I want to be just like her. So um, I always looked up to Serena Williams. Um, I thought we had the same body structure. So um, I always looked up to her. Even Althea Gibson, that was from New Jersey. Althea Gibson also, not only did she win Wimbledon, but she was also an avid golfer. A track person that I look up to. On the track, the person that shows me that resilience a lot. Well, I think my main one would actually be Allison Felix. Of course, Allison Felix. Allison Felix from Southern California. She's from Southern California, so I love watching her run. She is so graceful and also just so good and so consistent. Also, I would say Shelly Ann Fraser Price. I always look up to Shelly Ann. Shelly Ann. I know that's my competitor, but I look up to that woman a lot with her perseverance and, you know, grit and fight that she has. We're like the same height, so I'm like, girl, you give me hope. <laughs> I mean, she's been in the game for a long time, so that's definitely inspirational. I look at the Gail Devers. I would say Gail Devers just because she was multifaceted. She's someone I was up to. She's like a warrior to me. I really enjoy that she was like so dominant in so many different events, and that's like how I feel as a person, just all around. So I really enjoy watching Gail. Yeah, I looked up to like Evelyn Ashford, Gwen Torrance, uh, Wilma Rudolph. I just love. <laughs> oh, I got most of my role models, of course, Flo Jo. Wilma Rudolph. Wilma Rudolph, obviously, uh, Manly Manny Mims was someone that I looked uh, up to. I think maybe all, for all of us, we have a minute. Then you have Chanel, like I said, and Phoebe, and then you have Brenda, Alicia, Ajay. Almost immediately right before me was Alicia Montano, Ajay Wilson, and Natoya Gould. You know, they're both such beasts in the 800. <laughs> Joetta Clark was the queen of the 800. She was also part of the Clark Sisters dynasty. So you have the Clark Sisters. I mean, that's like. 800 culture tradition right there alone. Gerald Miles Clark, Hazel Clark. Also Pamela Gelimo, the Kenyan lady. She really inspired me a lot to do 800. Ajay for America and then the Toyobo for Jamaica. So they're my inspiration. I looked up to Veronica, you know, because it was her why I knew about Olympics and I always said to myself that I want to go to the Olympics and now I'm a two times Olympian. So thanks to her. If you know anything in track in Jamaica at that time, people were talking about Merlin Ati, they were talking about Veronica. A lot of people know it was Carmelita Jetter. Um, she specialized in 100 and she was the best woman alive before. Lane ran when she ran, so that's who it was for me. Dalila Muhammad, that's that's my go-to. I mean, she's my road dog. I know her because she's also my training partner, but she's just as dope as she is on the track, off the track. Gabby Thomas, because she broke the record, I was running that race, so I always look up to her, so competing with her every day is really fun. Lolo Jones, Kim Duncan, I was born and raised in Louisiana, so I watched LSU sports a lot. I was able to train with Lolo and Kim Duncan, and um, Cassandra Tate is there now. And also Christina Harger, who is one of these people who, when it matters, she pulled it out the bag, and I think that's really um, admirable. The main person is Brittany Reese. I watched her on YouTube all the time and watched her career just excel. You know, I've mocked a lot of her, you know, jumping abilities and whatnot. And my dad would tell me, scream like Brittany every time I jump. From Colombia, there's a quarter miler, Simena Restrepo, and she's now an executive member of World Athletics. And we're both South Americans. She's phenomenal. I'm aiming to be phenomenal. So I've, I've always kind of looked up to her. There's a certain lady who won steeple chase in 2005. She was called Docasin's School. She won the first gold medal for ladies in Uganda, so it really inspired us. Amira Bello, I, I, I don't know if you know her, but she went to Morgan State. And same thing, just a phenomenal athlete, incredible student, and just a model citizen in life. And I think that it's important for us to realize that Title IX isn't about taking something from someone else so the women could benefit. Title IX is for making sure that there's equality. We don't want to do these sports or these activities or get this money and be compensated because the men are doing it or have the, those opportunities. We want this because it's the right thing and we uh, deserve it.